Lifeway Christian Bookstore is one of the largest providers of Christian products and services. And recently they decided to stop selling these pink Bibles because the proceeds of the pink Bibles, uh, actually one dollar of the proceeds, would go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation, which uh, is looking for uh, breast cancer research, a cure for breast cancer. You get the picture, right? Yeah, well, that uh, sounds hideous. It, it does. I, I'm I mean, very happy that Lifeway has decided to stop selling these Bibles. Now, the reason why they decided to do that is because the uh, Susan G. Komen Foundation donates a part of the proceeds to Planned Parenthood. How dare they? But none of that money goes to abortion services, none of it goes to contraception, none of it goes to anything that's deemed immoral by Christians or conservatives, right? Right. The money that the Susan G. Komen Foundation gives to Planned Parenthood is only used for breast cancer prevention, okay, and mm -hmm. screening for breast cancer, education and information on breast cancer, so you guys get the picture. Even given that information, this bookstore refuses to sell the pink Bibles. In fact, here is a statement that they released themselves. They said, though we have assurances that Komen's funds are used only for breast cancer screening and awareness, it is not in keeping with Lifeway's core values to have even an indirect relationship with Planned Parenthood. I, I might drive you crazy here, but uh, I, I get why they're doing it, okay? I get why they're doing it too. Doesn't mean it isn't stupid. Right. Now, look, uh, people make the uh, argument about commingling funds, first of all. So they say, all right, look, I give, uh, you know, let's say that a thousand bucks goes to Planned Parenthood for this. Well, that's a thousand bucks that they w w can spend on other places like birth control, et cetera, right? But in this case, that's not a good argument because it's just a thousand bucks they wouldn't have for their cancer awareness. That's it, mm -hmm. right? So that's a poor argument. But they say, look, it, and by the way, Planned Parenthood, uh, People talk about them as if like, oh, what they do is abortion. It's 3% of what they do, 3%, yeah. okay? It's a tiny, tiny percentage. But if you're pro-life and, and you think, well, life begins at conception, and this group, even if it's 3%, does, you know, provides abortions, and I don't want to be associated with that group, I get it. What I don't understand is that Christians are supposed to see the good in people, even if those people have some sort of evil or something that they disagree with, right? With Planned Parenthood, here they are doing something that's good, and they're helping poor women, women who don't have access to health care, women who need to be screened for breast cancer. Why can't they get over whatever issues they have about abortion or contraception? They're not funding that, right? They're only funding something very specific. Why can't they think about helping those poor individuals who need the help? But they don't think about that. It, it's, it, we talk about politics, right, like with the Arpeo case. This is politics. This is them freaking out because they're going to look bad to their right-wing friends because they're helping Planned Parenthood in such a tiny, minuscule way. Yeah, you know, I don't want anybody to misinterpret what I'm saying. Of course, on that note, I agree with you 100%. It's, mm -hmm. I think it's totally the wrong thing to do. Uh, and, and you're hurting people who have breast cancer because of a tiny percentage link to something that you disagree with politically, right? So I wouldn't do it, right? Uh, and, and look, if you're going to do it, you're going to pull the funding, at least put the, raise the money anyway, maybe give it to a different organization that fights breast cancer. Can you at least do that? So when you just pull it all, to, all together, you've at least, uh, to me, they've got to acknowledge that they're doing more harm than good. Right by pulling the funding entirely from the breast cancer program. They're worried about their image. That's what it really comes down to. That's the truth. And I think that's the part of it that really gets under my skin.